them to shine low Advancing the kingdom of God Cause where the spirit of the Lord is There is liberty Welcome to shine low Advancing the kingdom of God So clap your hands and dance along with us, yeah Welcome to shine Good morning. Welcome to Shiloh Baptist Church, Idrick's Corner, McLean, Virginia. We do indeed thank God for you all joining us and sharing with us on this special celebration of the Savior. This is Christmas and this is our Christmas service. Come on, let's thank God right where we are for blessing us with the Christ child, for sending us the Lord Jesus Christ. We have a special service in store for you. And so let's Enjoy, get where you need to be, get your mobile devices, get it on YouTube, on Facebook, pull it on up, join on in, share it with your family members and friends, tell them, come on, we are in Shiloh Cyber Sanctuary this morning celebrating the Savior. It is Jesus' birthday, and we are glad about it. Thank you, God, for Jesus. Merry Christmas, everybody, and again, thank you for joining us in Shiloh Nation, all of our family and friends. Let's go on and enter into this service and have a marvelous time worshiping the Lord our God. Good morning, Shiloh Nation, and Merry Christmas. Welcome to Shiloh Cyber Sanctuary. Don't adjust your screen. I'm not Pastor Cheeks, but my name is Kendall Washington, and this is a Shiloh and Youth Teen Sunday Morning Takeover. Woo! <laughs> As you know, we have some phenomenal youth at SBC who love God and love to worship. So join the churches tomorrow. No, the church of today. In praising our great and mighty God who loved us so much, he gave us his greatest gift possible, which was his son, Jesus Christ. Anybody ready to praise the Lord? Let's begin our worship with scripture, which will be led by Ava and Kaya Neto. For to us a child is born, to, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And, and his, his name, name shall, shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty, Mighty God, God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Amen. Good morning, church. My name is Nevaeh Jackson, and please bow your heads and pray with me. God, thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for allowing us to celebrate your birthday with you. Happy birthday, Jesus. I'm grateful for the life that I have and for my health and family. Please look after those who are homeless and those who are sick. We love you and we praise you. I ask that you comfort those who have lost loved ones. Take time to love people while they are still here. As I know my grandmothers and grandfathers that I lost this year. 
are with you. And that makes me happy. Thank you, Lord, for everything you do. I pray for a better world and that people get to know how wonderful you are. Amen.
Christmas means to me is spending time with family and celebrating um, Jesus' birth. Jesus means he turned the how to live and gave us a relationship with Jasmine, God. Jasmine, what does the birth of Jesus mean to you? It means hope and you should never give up on something when something's Thank you, SPC Youth, for sharing your heart and reminding us what the real reason for this season is. Before we hand the service back over to Pastor, we want to remind you, don't forget to give. God loves a cheerful giver. Information on how to give is on your screen, so please don't forget. Praise God. Come on, let's thank God for our youth and teen ministry being a blessing to us today and all of them sharing with us on this morning and participating in today's service. God, I thank you for allowing this day to be special and for them to join with us today. Thank you all to all of you who participated, to the entire youth and teens ministry, workers, volunteers, and leaders, and to you parents and guardians. We thank God for each and every one of you. I want to take an opportunity to shout out just a few of our youth and teens uh, who have done some marvelous things, not only as they've, they, all of them have done a phenomenal job even working through this season of uncertainty and things in regards to our COVID, but they've done a phenomenal job uh, traversing through school and in school, out of school, in person, virtual, what have you. I just want to celebrate and just acknowledge each and every one of you for the hard work you put in. But I want to just celebrate just a few really quickly uh, for their accomplishments. Um, let me start with uh, Michael. 
Michael Geeter the second Deuce, AKA Deuce, congratulations to you and your football team for winning back-to-back -back championships, state championships, to God be the glory. Not only did they win uh, the state championship, but they also, but Deuce also received 2021 first team all region as a cornerback. Praise God. As a defensive back, praise God. Doing a phenomenal job. So congratulations getting that second ring. And also to your dad, who's also a coach on that team as well. To God be the glory. I also want to congratulate you and certainly your brother and all of his aspirations academically, academic and athletic aspirations. I want to give a quick shout out to Nevaeh. Nevaeh Jackson, in your accomplishments, I, I saw information on Facebook in regards to what you are doing in gymnastics. You're doing a phenomenal job on the floor, and I think on the balance beam, you have three medals around your neck. Praise God for your accomplishments and what you are able to do, and using the Lord our God to even be glorified through your work in gymnastics. So just wanted to lift you two up really quickly. I also wanted to share... Um, in addition to those two, I also want to give a shout out to uh, Malia Davis for receiving her degree. Praise God, college graduate, and also to who is now official, who is now official, officially, Dr. Tara Newton. Praise God, Dr. Tara Newton. Tara Newton received her PhD. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we celebrate all of you all and all of your accomplishments and what the Lord is doing in your life. As you turn in your Bibles, if you have your words with you, please turn with me to the gospel according to Matthew. Praise God for what the Lord has done and continues to do even in the midst of a pandemic. Our young folk, our, our young adults, our little people are still pressing forward and accomplishing great things in their lives. And so we thank God for that. Quick reminder that the main office as we're in the season of Christmas, the season of Advent, the main office will be closed from uh, this week until January 4th or the 5th, I believe. So entire week, the main office will be closed in observant of Advent in this Christmas season. Praise God. Matthew. Matthew chapter 2. Matthew chapter 2. When you have it, if you don't mind standing, we all we on one accord in the cyber sanctuary. Matthew chapter 2, beginning at verse 1, I want to read from the New King James Version. The New King James Version reads thusly, Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined for